Trying to predict the future is a discouraging and hazardous occupation. If what I say now seems to you to be very reasonable, then I'll fail completely. Only if what I tell you appears absolutely unbelievable have we any chance of visualizing the future as it really will happen. The rate of change in today's digital landscape will never be this slow again. As beauty marketers, we must change with the times or be trampled over by them. We know change is scary and it can be difficult. But one thing has not changed, the role of brands in consumers' lives. Our mission remains the same. We're storytellers. We create meaningful connections and build brand love. What has changed are the opportunities. The availability of touch points, continuous access, and the incredible speed with which we can take action. It took newspapers 146 years before they reached 50 million consumers. Cell phones only five years, and the game Angry Birds, 30 minutes. In the early days of marketing, we had it easy. We'd come up with a product idea, create an ad, run it on television, and we'd reach 50% of our target audience. Big bets for big returns. Marketing 1.0 was product-centric, focusing only on selling items to consumers. Over time, consumers learned to mute TV and ignore magazine ads, and they became jaded and cynical. So we started using new tools like Consumer Insights and morphed into consumer-centric marketers. Marketing 2.0 worked for a while, but we were always talking at the consumer never with them. Well, things have changed again. The digital age has transformed the relationship between people and brands. It has become far more intimate, and the consumer now expects more from us than ever before. Enter Marketing 3.0, the era of human-centric marketing and humanized brands. What is Marketing 3.0? It's informed, it's interactive, it's personal, and it's here. At this very moment, consumers are generating vast amounts of data that help us to understand them, not just as segments or targets, but as actual humans. Human-centric marketing is a paradigm shift. In this new way of marketing, we move from consumer snapshots to human profiling. Demographic media buys evolve into one-on-one -on -one media transactions, and inflexible, high-investment assets transform into personalized marketing. Marketing 3.0 is a change in the way that we think about big bets. We aren't asking you to rethink the bet you made that women care about real beauty if you're Dove, that guys are trying to get the girl if you're Axe, or that people aspire to own a piece of the dream if you are Chanel. We hold these truths to be self-evident. We are asking you to bet that Marketing 3.0 this idea of human-centric, one-to-one marketing is here, and it is here to stay. Introducing M3, a framework that we believe is the new way of marketing. In M3, the combination of micro-targeting and micro-engagement build micro-marketing campaigns that more effectively generate returns. First, micro-targeting uses predictive analytics to form an intimate portrait of individuals. This translates into winning consumer insights based on true human understanding. We used to try to shape customers' desires, but now we will be able to predict them. Next, micro-engagement forms the new consumer interaction model. Communication is one-to-one, -one, human to brand, and it's happening 24-7. Sophisticated analysis of these engagements gives us an in-depth view of unique human experiences. And the result is the creation of micro-marketing campaigns, combining the understandings we gain from micro-targeting with the 24-7 connectivity of micro-engagement, new technology creates a zero-friction, on-demand human experience. We give our consumers what they want, when they want it, at the moments that matter. With technology infused into every aspect of marketing, M3 evolves our craft to be more instrumented, interconnected, and intelligent. Tonight, we'll show you what M3 means for communication platforms, the results this has on metrics, 
and how this new framework will have implications for your business organization. We invite you to go all in and take this bet with us. A bet that human-centric marketing requires an evolution in our understanding and use of media. The new human-centric expectation requires touch points to be personalized, timely, and barrier-free. And if they aren't, your brand is irrelevant. Research shows that first impressions are formed in six seconds and that you'll gain one's attention only after you have made a good impression. Today, brands are no different than people. They too need to make a good first impression. To feel connected, consumers expect brands to listen to them, to adjust according to their mood, and reflect a part of themselves. To win attention, brands have to act like humans. They must be both predictive and reactive. They must know what their consumer wants, when they want it, and allow them to engage with it. It is no different than being put on the spot when a friend asks you, does this skirt make my butt look big? Brands also need to let go of traditional marketing communication because it is inflexible. We predict that the evolution of media will help marketers win and hold consumer attention. In the future, we'll drop digital from marketing, social from media, and traditional from agency. There will be no distinction. All communication touch points will be interactive, interconnected, and zero friction. This evolution will change marketing communication from a one-to-many press conference to a one-to-one -one conversation. Micromarketing at its finest. Gone are the days of silo demographic media buys. Now are the days of human media buys, where you buy Amy's, Tom's, and Jennifer's media. To buy Jennifer's media and to get her to engage with you, you need to serve up exactly what Jennifer is looking for. So, what does this mean for marketers? It will not mean the death of traditional media such as print and television. It will mean that traditional media will act like digital media, offering high levels of interactivity and connectivity. It will be flexible and optimizable, adjusting in real-time consumer insight. For example, this new flexible media will not require a million different versions of your TV commercials to satisfy every Jennifer in your consumer pool. These TV ad templates will be informed by smart media that will know your individual consumer so well, we will be able to predict what the consumer wants before even she knows she wants it. The result, the right content is served up for the right consumer every time. Automated marketing platforms like MediaMind already exist to help make this a reality. How is this different from current advertising opportunities? Think search engine marketing, fully optimized. In the near future, media opportunities will be everywhere. Let's take a look. Everything she touches will be smart media. She will communicate with her brands, her friends, and her favorite customers simultaneously. It will be easy to create media that appears personalized. Using data insights, Ad templates will reflect some part of the consumer, making it seem as though the ad was designed specifically for Jennifer. These dynamic ads will be predictive and reactive across every platform with real-time responses. Just imagine the opportunities for your brand and your consumer. Because of all of this, media vehicles must interact seamlessly, and content developed for them must create a zero-friction environment. It's all about smart media. In understanding all of this data, we can reach the consumer across multiple platforms. And these platforms will talk to each other, will talk to us as the brand, and will talk to the consumers, creating a 360-degree conversation. In the M3 framework, micro-targeting is about constantly collecting individual consumer data. Deeper insights create stronger connections with the consumer, resulting in increased brand loyalty. From there, we use micro-engagement to create winning content. And the M3 model empowers brands to then deliver personalized communication to individual users. In this new framework, brands will brief their creative agencies differently, 
now with an eye for flexibility. All brands need to build interactivity into every element of their communication plans from start to finish. And all brands must plan for dynamic communication, benefiting from constant monitoring and learning. In this new world, micro-targeting via smart media will uncover in-depth human truths in real time. Micro-engagement via interactive media will help you communicate with your consumers in real time. And through micro-marketing, brands will launch personalized campaigns that adjust to individual consumer feedback in real time. New media will be your trump card in playing the new big bet. In the M3 framework focused on individual human-centric marketing, we need to rethink success measurement. We are in the eye of a perfect storm of accessible data, advanced technology, and the growing availability of data analytics experts. Every individual consumer moment that matters, both offline and online, can be analyzed, tested, and optimized in real time. Traditionally, marketing metrics have focused on flash in the pan, high investment, long running communication. This means post-evaluation of assets months after launch, attribution of value to the last moment of consumer interaction, and siloed channel measurement. In the M3 framework, marketers ideate, iterate, analyze, and measure constantly. We are asking you to take a big bet on changing the way you think about marketing measurement. We are asking you to bet on the growing importance of return on learnings and to embrace a new mindset of measurement. Return on learnings means moving away from static hindsight measurement to dynamic instant actioning of real-time consumer learnings. We're not asking how well your last TV commercial reached your demographic. We are measuring the effectiveness of your 4.12 p.m. interaction with Jennifer. Imagine being able to monetize attribution to know how valuable every consumer interaction is and how those experiences work both together or individually to further drive sales. Marketers will be able to track the effectiveness of individual consumer touch points and understand the most critical points of interaction. Think this new way of measurement doesn't translate into sales? IBM found that businesses armed with forward-thinking marketers had a three-year revenue growth 40% higher than that of their competitors. Their gross profit grows at a rate double that of their peers. Historically, we've measured what we are able to measure, not what should be measured. Click-through rate, cost per acquisition, cost per click. Those KPIs look backward. We must look forward. A return on learnings mindset requires us to move to dynamic measurement, where success is based on depth of consumer understanding, continuous improvement, and speed of implementation. New tools will allow marketers to measure and monetize the effectiveness of individual consumer touch points like never before. By acting on the real-time learnings from constant consumer listening, we can actually increase individual consumer lifetime value to our brands and reap the rewards in sales. In the M3 framework, return on learnings is the new return on investment. But to embrace micromarketing and return on learning, BD organizations must evolve and develop three key capabilities. These three capabilities are evolutions in talent, marketing culture, and organizational structure. As we mentioned, the job of beauty marketers has not changed. We still tell stories, to make connections, to build brand love. In marketing 1.0 and 2.0, beauty companies hired jack-of-all-trades marketers with an eye as to whether or not individuals would be both good GMs and good brand builders. Historically, those two roles had similar skill sets. That is no longer true. Brand builders need to build new skills. Organizations need to build teams of marketing specialists and, as Joe mentioned, find the balance between art and science. We must bring in micro-targeting data wizards who know advanced analytics inside and out. Micro-engagement content publishers who craft your brand stories on the fly. And micro-marketing brand owners who drive brand strategy via media expertise. 
These people probably work on your brands today. The problem is that they are outsourced to different partners. The most important people in your brand may sit outside your organization. And we believe that to win at M3 Marketing, organizations must bring these capabilities back in-house. Today, beauty companies have a risk-averse culture. We make products that sit on skin and hair and are potentially ingested. Consumers trust us to make these products safe and mistake-free. But marketing communication doesn't have to be. And in fact, today's consumers reject perfection. They want authenticity. And authentic marketing communication requires a new culture. A culture where decision-making power is given to the experts. A culture that sees mistakes as a learning opportunity. And a culture that embraces the burden of rejection instead of approval. For example, in the 2012 Obama campaign, senior leaders had very short time frames, maybe even 30 minutes, to approve proposed communication messages. If the team didn't hear no, they assumed approval, and they jumped on the opportunity. Nobody waited to get the yes. This is how marketers win in the M3 model. We recognize that some functions still need a risk-averse culture to be effective, such as product development and business management. To incubate the M3 culture, we recommend that organizations separate the marketing organization from these other functions. In this model, your operational brand managers run the day-to-day -day business, while your M3 specialists run the 24-7 communication across all media platforms. In this model, all hubs operate effectively. Organizations must bring these brand-building capabilities back in-house. They must embrace a fast-paced culture, and our beauty organizations must rethink their organizational structure to incubate the M3 culture. M3 is a framework where micro-targeting and micro-engagement underpin micro-marketing campaigns, a necessity in today's human-centric world. This is beauty marketing in a digital world. This is M3.